Winterization. Okay, if you're in an area where it gets below freezing, you need to winterize your boat. The beauty of the Optimax is the engine completely self-drains. There's no manifolds, no petcocks to worry about. There's just a few small external components you need to address, and it's important you do that. And we'll go over those right now. If you have a sand trap, you want to drain, your, drain the glass bowl on the sand trap, and then you can screw it back on snugly. Um, and, and it's a good idea to just make sure that's empty. If it's not, if you leave it full of water and you free, freeze over the winter, it will crack this. And if you don't lift your engine and check in the spring, you're going to take off, you're going to fill the bilge with water. And the boat's going to get real heavy in the back after about 10 minutes. So you want to check that. If you have a heater, these are your heater lines here, and there's two little, what they call Prestone fittings. It's just raw water that's used, but they, these little T fittings, you want to open both those caps, take them off, and so that the heater will gravity feed down into the, the water will drain down into the bilge and not get trapped in the heater core up under the dash. Uh, check under your dash, you may have a, a some of the boats have a, a fitting similar to that up near the heater. Uh, it's a good idea if you're near compressed air to go ahead and chase a little compressed air in one side till it runs out the other, just as an, an additional preventative. But we do try and use the heaters that are um, that won't trap water in the heater core. Uh, every once in a while you'll get one that does, so if you can chase some air through that, all the better. Those are two things as far as winterization. You should put, ideally, if you, can, if you have uh, access to it, you can, you can uh, pick up um, storage fogging oil and, and uh, put some storage fogging oil into the system. Uh, the instructions are on the can. It kind of coats everything inside the engine and a fuel stabilizer in the gas tank. Uh, there's all kinds of good uh, fuel stabilizers. You can buy them at a, any good marine shop, uh, marine fuel stabilizer, or even at uh, a supermarket, as long as it's a good quality brand and a, and a good uh, proven fuel stabilizer. There's also a product called Quick Clean that Mercury makes. There's also similar versions made by Yamaha, Evinrude, and some of the others. And it is designed specifically to clean your injectors. It's a mixture you pour into your gas tank uh, occasionally. Just follow the instructions on there. That's a good idea. Um, the only other real winterization point is uh, something that's a little harder to get to, but it's, uh, it's important. Uh, and it's over here on the starboard side of the engine. We'll, we'll take a look at it. Okay, one thing we've developed is a really slick uh, winterization plug on the base of the engine. We found that uh, occasionally if you run heavy silt, you could trap silt underneath the jet adapter plate where you really can't see it or get to it. Uh, it plugs the water, uh, it plugs a little water escape hole. It doesn't matter at all during the regular season, but if you do it uh, going into the winter, and you don't know about it, that water has to go somewhere. If it's trapped in there from silt, it's got to go somewhere and it'll break a gasket. So we developed a, a neat little escape uh, access plug for every SJX boat so that condition will never happen. You'll never have to spend $400 and replace a base gasket so long as you take this little plug out at the end of the winter. It's installed prior to the boat uh, engine going into the boat at the factory. Uh, we got approval with Mercury and it's a really clever system and it just prevents that, that potential uh, problem from ever happening. I'm going to show you where it's at. So to locate the, the little um, winter drain plot, uh, bolt, go to your, this is your bilge hose, your bilge pressure hose that runs off the engine and, and goes down and runs off the jet and goes down to the bilge area. Almost right behind there on this engine base plate, right there, you will find your uh, little bolt that's threaded and goes into the engine adapter plate. All you have to do is put a wrench on there, a socket, and spin it out. I believe it's 9 16 And you take it out. It's about 3 quarters to an inch long and it has a washer on it. Just remove that. And I recommend you put it in a Ziploc bag with any other uh, winterization items, for example, like your heater hose T-fittings. Put them in a Ziploc and attach them to your steering wheel. That will remind you in the spring not to operate your boat until you put this plug back in there right there, you can't see it but I can feel it, right there and put that plug back in snug, put your Prestone fittings back on your heater hoses, double check your sand trap, make sure it isn't broken and you are ready to go back in the water. So it's a simple system, we've, we've, uh, we've incorporated the emergency uh, water exit uh, bolt which is really handy and uh, I think we're the only company that does that but it does uh, prevent a lot of uh, headache down the road because that will happen to a boat that doesn't have it sooner or later if you live in a northern environment. Okay, next we're going to just talk briefly about the jet. 
and, uh, and what you need to pay attention to as far as maintenance on that end.